use stuck on headbands but the beauty of this is that you can use any colour you've got to fasten it every now and again so to do that you need to go through the middle of a section and underneath that the amount of work that goes into a properly bound book is huge sewing headbands the book's covering material and its decoration this book blind stamped with letters took eight hours to finish and used a variety of type. So we've got a, an enormous collection of um, printer's type and brass type for book binding, which you can emboss, heat up and emboss gold. Uh, this one is called Mercury Light. It's just a beautiful script. Valerie's shop in Holt Whistles High Street is stuffed full of everything she might need to bind and make books. Decorative cloths, Parchment, leathers, like snakeskin and fish, a dog, lettering tools, another dog, and a lovely selection of papers, modern and traditional. She's often inspired by chance finds, like this tiny diary. I love them. I love the feel of them. This, this one I bought off the internet. It's a 1923 diary, and I've made my own version, covered in Liberty fabric, and I hope somebody will use it as a diary and in 80 odd years time somebody will treasure that too. Valerie gets many commissions. Some of them are not straightforward. I've recently finished the diocesan faculty book for Newcastle and they don't produce this paper anymore. This size ledger paper with a red margin and ruled so I had to find a printer in South Shields to print this for me. So sometimes book binding can be a bit of a challenge. The finished ledger, though, perfectly matches generations of similar volumes. And when the Mayor of Carlisle needs a visitor's book, it's the bindery on the High Street that provides the impressive crest. Paul Paxton, BBC Look North, Holt Whistle.